Hi guys, it's Clyde. I just wanted to do a quick video because I know some people are wondering about this uh, little DMX controller. Um, Stacy already did one and I wanted to add in how I put it together so that if anybody else would jump in and want to figure this out, this is a very inexpensive uh, and easy to use uh, uh, little controller here. Okay, so going on a walk around this board, um, it takes a little while to figure out. You, you have to read the pictures, and the pictures are pretty good. But uh, I wanted to set it up so that you guys could see that uh, the ones he uses in some of the videos only have two wire or uh, four wires, and, and uh, with our Pixel, some of them come with three wire. Now this particular board is set up to run the WS twenty eight elevens, or also known as the nineteen o one IC. Uh, pixels and uh, just a little quick walk we can see the dip switch settings here the dip switch settings to make this work uh, as and, and what I would use it for is number 10 is on and number one is on this dip switch is a little bit different than normal ones but uh, as soon as I set it up this way it worked fine uh, next we have the DMX positive DMX negative and then a ground now this is a network wire running right over to the uh, bridge kit that you can purchase at DIY LED Express and as you can see I have one network to my network that's set up outside this is uh, or I'm sorry one universe this is the second universe and I just took a regular network wire and I cut off the end and I I know that we use the strip uh, or the uh, orange and the orange stripe from DMX to the network and that's what carries our data. So I connected the the strip or the stripe, I'm sorry, connected the stripe to the positive, the solid orange to the negative. And then going around the board, the rest of the board is set up in this manner. We have a positive 12 volt input or output, another 12 volt positive input or output. I have the pixels hooked up here with their positive. Next you have the the data from the DMX that's be, being read by the, com, the uh, microprocessor and uh, this goes out to the pigtail to the uh, pixels next you have your uh, neutral from your power supply and that goes in right there and then over here is your output for your neutral and then along here you also have the option of adding in RGB um, dumb nodes which you basically could take a string of dumb nodes and hook it up to this this dip switch setting could be configured so that it runs only the, sh the string only as a, a dumb controller so that's a nice little option if you if you need a high powered uh, little controller this has four amps max it says it has four amps max I haven't tested it but uh, if you can do four amps max off of each of these channels that's you know 12 amps total um, that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty powerful little controller. So uh, anyway, there's a little uh, there's a little walkthrough. Uh, once again, uh, this was really easy to set up. Power supply. I'll get this out of the way, and uh, I'll do a little quick test. Once again, this is on universe number two, and I'll go up here to my uh, DMX screen that I have here. This was my 4th of July sequence that I just did. It only took me like 20 minutes to make this. And I just copy and paste it. I had uh, 10 windows outside. Um, and I decided to... Uh, uh, here, I'll show you. These are, the, these are the 10 windows up here. If I open up the little thing, I made a little visualizer. And uh, this is what it would look like as it runs. N nothing, nothing fancy, just a, a red, white, and blue chase. And then... I opened up and I created a new set of DMX, uh, DMX Universe 2. So I'm connected to DMX Universe 2. I have 25 pixel bulbs is what I'm using from DIY LED Express. And what I did was I hooked those right up. Here they are hanging. Here is the pigtail. And I have them hanging. As you can see, they've already activated. They're already working, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit the play button, and uh, there's no music, so don't get too excited, but that is the little inexpensive 2-inch uh, by 2-inch or less 
uh, DMX pixel controller that you can get off of eBay. And I, uh, I think this is a very, very um, uh, good uh, controller to, to try to use. I have to test this in the real world first, though, to really, uh, to really give it a good go around. So there you go. I hope that helps you guys if you're interested in it. I, I'd say it's a go, uh, but like I said, I want to do some testing on my own out in the real world. Take care.